Do you know God? Well, I know because I had an emotional experience. Well, I know because, do you know God? Do you really got doctrine? What you believe is going to carry you through. But if you don't know him, you don't know doctrine. You ain't got no doctrine. This altar is open. I want every little girl in here to understand that the Lord loves you. I want every young man to know that he's got to turn into an old man. The only way you're going to do that, you're going to have to get some guts, some backbone. Right? You have to just stand. Man, how's everybody going to take back Detroit? Pontiac. If you can't take over your own life first. If you ain't got this one to take over your own life, you can't. You just can't take over anything. I don't know how you're going to get it. If your parents didn't beat it into you, I don't know how you're going to get it except from God. You have to get a little extra. You've got to get a little extra. My goodness. It's what we call touch. Every time you get to a wall and you can't go through, it's like Moses in the Red Sea. You've got to have God. Every lack of character you have, and you're ashamed of it, but your pride won't let you go on. You're going to have to swallow that pride. And you're going to have to say, God, I can't do this on my own. I need help. And that's life, man. That is the Christian life. Day in, day out, 24-7, knowing that God is working through you. If you don't believe that, I'm telling you, get saved. I'm, you know, I ain't no retreader, but bless God if he's nowhere in there. Yeah. If there, I mean, come on, man. If there's nothing in there, if you ain't drawn to even talk to him, yeah. if, I mean, if there's no even interest in the word of God, period, there's something wrong. You ain't got to be perfect, but bless God if you had a text from God. That's supernatural. Yeah. Something's got to change, man. They sing. You think about your life. This is Friday night, man. When you go out that door, that's it. You may die tonight. You may see the judge tonight. Stop thinking we're trying to psych you into some kind of decision. I ain't going to psych you into nothing, Jack. This is a fact. You could die right now. Will you go to heaven or not? And if you're a Christian, do you really like where you're at right now? That's what the altar call is about. You're being altered by the altar. Amen. As they sing, we'll, give, we'll just give a little bit more time. Amen. I want to make sure all your hearts are clear, all your mind. Amen. If you have a little peace when you leave here. You know if he says, come up hither, you're not going to be sitting here alone. Amen.
He'll save your mom and daddy. He'll save your auntie or your grandmother. He'll save your cousin. I mean, God will save you. anybody, anybody, whosoever will. And he'll do it because of your prayers also. Amen? You say, why you pick on the Detroit kids? Why not?
because of everything else that's going on in the world that we're afraid to show our emotions. So God overrides everything, comes in and just shows you. He's still there. He's still He's still 100% love. And, and you're going to have to cry whether you like it or not. And you sit there and next thing you know, once they start to come, then you remember how it felt. And you say, oh, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. And to see teenagers cry, genuine tears. You can't buy that. No, sir. So, I'm not going to shut it all down because when it's all over, it should still be continuing in your mind. Well, please, if you criticize this meeting, you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you're going to burn in hell. No, no, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I got another gospel. It's on a different dispensation. I don't know, I don't know what happened to me. 
those of you that are like that, you just have to endure unto the end. Some of us want to enjoy the ride. <laughs> Amen. And uh, glory to God. I'm so glad you came here. Uh, people that are here, our small church, we just can't. We just can't afford everything, but God can. And He sent exactly who had to be here. And uh, and, and so I'm sure you're here. And um, He was here, and you got something out of it. But once again, please uh, don't criticize it you don't know yet. Just relax because you don't want to mess yourself up later on with the Lord. Amen. And you may just, uh, I do things on purpose because I'm so cruel just to get the brother to look at me so they got to stand in front of him and see the Christ later. But that's another story. Oh, man, it's my buddy. I talked to a guy today in the bank that um, said everybody is a victim of their circumstance. They're a product of their environment. There's no hope. That's what he told me. And he has not a clue what's going on with these teenagers. That's right. Not a clue. And the only hope is God. That's right. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's it. Amen. This world's junk. It's junk. It's done. The only hope is God. That's right. Everybody's looking for something to try to make it happy. They're just byproducts of their environment. That's so right. He is. My, my grandfather used to say, what's down in the well, what's up in the bucket. Yeah. And ain't nothing down here, that's the problem. Amen. 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 That's good. Amen. 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 And no, I didn't compromise. This is my Baptist uniform. Got it? I come here, you'll see me like this 50% of the time. <laughs> Ask permission to be up here like this. What are you doing? Man, I'm trying to cover bases. <laughs> Bass pedals, amplifier, electric. Ask permission to do this. Everything was done decently in order. With hearts changed. Amen. Well, I didn't like the music. Well, that's why we had Danny, Dee Dee come up. A little bit more mellow. <laughs> if I had somebody else here with the classical stuff, I love it. I love it. I listen to classical all the time. What do I do? I listen to Henson's. I listen to Denny Mac. I listen to Sound Doctor. I listen, man, I'm a mess. But you know, none of those things ever made me pull over the corner, go to the corner bar, get me a beer. Yeah. Smoke a doobie. I'm just, I'm thinking about the Lord. Thinking how good God is. Even with classical music. I'm just... So give yourself a break. You, 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 some people are just nuts. They're all in the same boat. So just calm down. So did I cover the bases? Hope everybody has, you know, inspired. Yes. Yeah. 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 So what you have to do is, stage and dedication break. First you have to read the book. Then you see what the book says about itself. Okay? If you're a Greek freak, Go to the Greek, see what the Greek says about itself. Go to Hebrew, you know, so on and so forth. Just do your thing. But but don't say that this is not inspired, because you were taught by a man what inspiration was. Because the definition of inspiration as faith is in here. Inspiration is the scriptures. God breathed. There's no problem here. No problem. So that's what we believe. That's why it's, that's a division. Amen. I'm not under law. I'm under grace. And I'm not a Jew. Neither a Gentile. I'm the church. Amen. Amen. Is there even a, is there a snack thing there or no? Oh, there is. Okay. Okay. There's there's uh for those of you that like partying late, there's something to eat before you go out there. It helps the kids go through uh, you know their camp and. Uh, I didn't say yeah. Did you order Jeff? Did you order him to do it? Okay. And uh, there's stuff in the back you can buy, CDs for music to get rid of your rap and stuff he was talking about, or your crowns or whatever that was that we heard earlier in the week. The white people trying to put on the English accent, trying to be Christian. Anyway, and there, then there's, there's some slates over there in the back, really beautiful things. And Brother Bush, you still got knives? He's got a couple knives custom made. He doesn't. When you put your hand on one of these, I'm going to tell you, if you're a man, it's just there's a connection. 
Or if your name's Jail. <laughs> yeah, Jail. Amen. Well, I got a Joanna Jail. My wife went out, her first name was Joanna. But her name is Jail. I think every woman ought to have that grip, too. Yeah. yeah. Don't let nobody come in and take your babies from your house, amen? Take care of business. All right, I'm going to pray and pray for the food. I pray for the fellowship, man. And we really, we had a good year. Like I said, we had some folks saved here, people getting right. And uh, we had a drink of water tonight. And I, and I really appreciate it. I appreciate you praying and giving. And next year will be the same thing. Uh, friends of this church and this church trying to get a hold of God and begging God. Amen. Yeah, and uh, I need some strong men to help uh, Brother Henson load his vehicle, which is right out here. They're down in Belleville, so what they're doing there in Cotton Island, I'm going to need some guys to do that. Scotty and whoever this Isaiah. Do I have to name you? Just, you got the, you got God now, so I shouldn't have to say it. You just, everybody ought to want to do it, because they got God. <clears throat> Father, we love you. We thank you for your mercy and grace. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for all the preachers and and Father, dear God, the music and the musicians, and Father, for the people in the pew that you brought our way, I pray, God, that they were touched. And Father, that they got that energy, they got some instruction, they got some comfort. And Father, if there's anybody still here, Father, struggling and struggling and struggling, I pray, dear God, by your providence, that you get them alone somewhere. And Father, just show them how much you love them. And God, if they're lost, that they genuinely get along with you and cry out to you until you answer their call. In Jesus' name. Amen.